Hi guys, Janice Crosser, 2019 European and National Crafting Champion in my age group. In today's video, I'm going to discuss why it's important to test yourself regularly to see where your fitness is. Welcome back to the channel guys and if you're new to the channel welcome and please like and subscribe to my channel and if there's any videos you would like to see or anything you would like me to to do please drop it in the comments and I shall do a video about it so on to today's video and it's regarding how you sh how important it is to test yourself regularly to see where your fitness is at now, we've all done it before in the past where we've gone out and we've just done the same things over and over again. And we come to a race and then we wonder why we haven't PB or we're too far behind and we're wondering why we're going backwards in our training. Now, it's important that you do test yourself regularly. Now, I'd say every month, every six weeks, every eight weeks, every 12 weeks, that, that's enough to test regularly. Now, it could be for running, cycling, swimming. Now these tests are simple and basically you can have a FTP test for cycling. Um, I normally do a 20 minute one, see how far, um, how high power I can get, well the average power for 20 minutes. You can do a 5k time trial for running for example to see where, where your running is at the moment and what kind of shape you are. And with swimming again you can do a um, time trial 400 meter time trial for example in the in the uh, swimming pool and then you can put it in the C CSS calculator and it will tell you what your critical swim speed is for when you ch um, train uh, at that certain pace and then that'll be for another video so these these are the kind of tests that you can do but what's the be benefit of them well the benefit is that you actually will know where your fitness is and how to change your training up now by testing regularly you are able to uh, you're able to um, improve yourself so and to see what kind of fitness you are. Now, you, you, you don't want to be doing the same training week in, week out, and every, every other day, for example, every day you're doing the same training, so you're going for the same long run, the same cycle ride, the same swim, for example. That will not get you uh, faster, of course. As I mentioned before um, in previous videos, slow running does really help and does make you improve, but you still need to do have a right structured Plan. So you still have to do the interval sessions on any discipline. So you just um, building up the base and going slowly and trying to build up the engine will not necessarily um, improve uh, improve you um, if you get what I mean. It's, you still need to have a well structured balance with interval sessions as well. But as I said, eighty percent the twenty percent rule before eighty percent easy and then twenty percent hard. Now. You can now by doing this, you can have a, a four week block of training, say for example, and then you, um, so you have a, a solid four week block of training, and then um, you test yourself to see where you are. Then you can move on to the next uh, block of training, another four weeks, and then you can change the training up um, in that, that block. So, for example, if you're doing the previous month mile reps and you're training for half marathon or marathon, you might want to do two mile reps. Um, and extend it a bit and um, and some shorter stuff, sprint work. So it, it all depends what your goals are, your targets are, but um, to, you must have a well-structured plan in place and, and it's important that you do regularly test yourself so you can see where your fitness is. Now, um, it's good to see where your fitness is because you can predict if you're gonna PB, you know um, what kind of shape you are, you know if you're going backwards, um, what did I do wrong the first uh, the last month, how can I change it up? What what am I doing wrong? What how I, how can I correct it? And and that will improve you, and you learn. Like I'm still learning every session I do, every race I do, I learn. But I'm an, I'm an analyst by trade. My full time job is an analyst, and what I do is I analyze the data, and I always look at my data um, and to see where I am. And testing is so crucial to me. So when I know I turn up to a race, I know what um, shape I am at. So guys, I hope this is in, uh, this was in, uh, well, this is good for you and I hope you um, enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you thought of the video and what tests you do. How regularly do you test yourselves? Thanks for watching, guys.